ovation for Junko Agus. Whoa. Amazing. Whoa. Welcome. That Thank was so awesome. Amazing. Please have a seat. Thank have you. Thank you. Oh my God. Oh, wow. So, <laughs> what did you think about that? I'm speechless. I don't know how you managed to stay on that pole uh, yes. for that long. And it seems no, that like. That was actually quite uh, brief. Because, that was brief. Because yes. usually a yes. pole show oh, would be my. seven minutes, five minutes. So that was easy for you? <laughs> Too easy for you? No, that was only not a enough for me. Not, not enough. enough. That was only a warm-up. Yes. Oh, yeah. man. <laughs> wow. So, um, Junko, uh, first of all, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. And also, honor. thank you so yes. much uh, for showcasing uh, your finesse yeah. in the storm of art because um, we have to admit that this uh, kind of dance, mm. pole dance, is not only, um, you know, aesthetic-wise, but yep. it's also a sport. Yes. Mm. Now, um, can you please tell us about pole dancing and what it is for, for people who might not be familiar with it? Yeah. Pole dancing is a combination art, art athletic, uh, mm -hmm. uh, gymnastic, flexibility, uh, agility. Mm -hmm. uh, it's all uh, combined together in one, one uh, together what like all your strength mm -hmm. for all the women. Mm -hmm. So if you women can dance pole dancing, you like a superwoman. Yeah, it, yeah. <laughs> it looks like a superman or something yeah. flying out there. But I mean, what is the basic before you step into pole dancing? Do you have to have a certain basic? You actually you need to be strong. You need mm. to be. Uh, you need to uh, st to exercise your upper body strength. Mm. Upper body strength. Okay. And you you did it before. I I'm did. Sure. Yes. Yeah. I Jet did. Hans. Oh yeah. my I did. god. <laughs> yeah. Somehow I managed to have some some training in the yeah. in the pool. Did you cry in the beginning of the training sessions? I did. Sessions? <laughs> of course. I did. It was so hard. Huh? Lots of bruises. Yes. <laughs> Just to get you into context, where you know with. With pole dance, everything has to has to touch With your skin. Skin contact. Mm. Skin contact. Time, yes, and then the even up until now, Junko, I still have uh, one bruises on my thigh really? <laughs> that hasn't been gone yet. Really? So the pole oh, has wow. because of the left pole. some marks for but you. But yes. actually, my, my bruise is already gone because I'm strong enough to hold a pole. So when I'm not strong enough to mm -hmm. hold a pole, mm -hmm. before, when mm -hmm. I start, uh, when I first time I started, mm -hmm. it was bruises all over the place, uh -huh. my, yeah. my belly, my back, and my forearm. But, but how long have you been uh, dancing pole dance? Uh, now it's been already almost 20 years. Oh, wow. I, I, 20 I started, years. I started in 2006, and I opened a new, oh. Oh, the first pole dancing studio in South Jakarta, uh -huh. in Pondo Inda, uh -huh. uh, 2006. 2006. Yeah. That's a long time. Which is just a, not a lot of people know about pole dancing. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. But how, how long does somebody uh, need to spend and exercise or practice until they can master this pole dance? If mm. people are strong enough, they can learn about uh, 10 months. 10 they can months. master all their movement. Mm -hmm. And they're flexible enough and they're strong enough. Uh, they take 10 months to, to master everything. 10 months. 10 months, yeah. And they, they, they still need to learn so much more. Still, until 20 years. Like until yeah. 20 years. <laughs> but, but Junko, um, we also are quite curious, how did you start uh, fall in love yeah. into this kind of uh, form of art? Because, um, you know, back in, let's say, 20 years ago, not many people wanted to do this. Oh, Probably of course. one of the first ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. I actually when when I was in US I stay I stay in US for about five years. Mm. I work in the in the US United States mm -hmm. and I saw a lot of pole dancing but there was not a lot of people doing it, mm -hmm. especially men in Indonesia. Yeah. And I said there's nobody yes. Mm. You know? And I started uh, I saw one of the ladies from UK, uh, her name is Katie Koch <laughs> and then I was studying online with her tutorial mm -hmm. uh, online. Wow. I, I bought the... Uh, at that time? At that time. I bought the uh, the package of tutorial online, mm -hmm. like $20 for one package. Like for basic one, basic two, I study online. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I started uh, installing my own pole when I coming back from, from, from the US. Mm -hmm. And then I, I start teaching it. Mm. Oh, yeah, I in see. My, in my studio, I have four pole mm -hmm. and I teaching it to the... Uh, uh, expat community, mm. yeah, the ones which Indonesian Indonesian don't really know, know about pole uh, mm. at all, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and oh. you know, um, sometimes when when you start something um, to um, a general public, 
uh, which is not familiar for them. Yeah. There might be, you know, some challenges, of yeah. some uh, stereotypical uh, label of and course. stuff like that. And how did you manage to overcome that? A lot of people say uh, men doing pole dancing is kind of feminine. You know? Agree to that because, uh, <laughs> you know, some of the people did... You also got that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they were sounding that yeah. um, uh, in, the, you know, in the first days uh, of my pole days. Yes, but I don't really, I don't really uh, care about it because mm -hmm. something that I really like to do, I mm -hmm. mean, there's nobody want to do it. Yeah. So I want to do it. I want to be the first one mm -hmm. to do something that nobody want to do it. Yeah. I always want to, do, to be the first one to, to do the it. First and the best. And the best one yeah. to do it to do it right and to influence to mm -hmm. the other people Others, yeah. to uh, to give the inspiration we I sort of like have this chat with uh, Hans where uh, when you see somebody doing pole dancing they use very minimal uh, outfits yes, or yes. clothing so it's not meant to be looking sexy or sensual it is for the purpose of your skin touching the pole can you explain about that now now the thing is uh, if you're in the studio you're using the pole, which is stainless pole or mm -hmm. chrome. Stainless. We call it chrome. And then uh, you're using very minimum minim, uh, clothing. clothing. Mm -hmm. So you need the skin to be, to be uh, on contact, contact with, mm -hmm. the pole, with the pole. So we, we were able to, to stick on the pole. But mm -hmm. in the public, we usually, like, like now, they, they uh, produce this uh, new pole called silicon pole. Mm -hmm. so like this one. We call it, I call it Shari Apo. <laughs> Shari Apo. Shari Apo. So if you guys want to try the Shari pole, Apo. Shari Apo. Apo. Yes. Because it's um, covered. Shari. Yeah, it's covered. All right. Because covered and also you, you can actually use, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can, you can okay. use the clothing. Hijab. Yeah. Also, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's an alternative of dancing. Yeah, um, of method. course. So yeah, just to get you into context, probably you've seen uh, the Cirque du Soleil. So lots of the pole dancers, male pole dancers, are actually from Cirque du Soleil. Yes. Mm. And if you ever seen them, you know, doing their, their, their art and also how they master their art, that is very exquisite. Mm. So um, just to get people to know more about pole dancing, uh, Junko, um, are there any rules in pole dancing? Uh, if there's any, can you please... Uh, Tell us uh, rule. in the studio. I just, uh, right, rule for me, be yourself. Mm. You want to be a pole dancer, mm. be yourself. Uh, just do it, you know. Uh, if you you love it, you do it. Mm -hmm. There's no rule. I mean, everybody can do it. You don't need to be a big, uh, even you, your body is big size or small size. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah. You can do it. You can, you can do, do it. it. So you there are people it. who are perhaps a bit overweight and doing it, like your students? Yes, a lot of people oh. over were doing it, but they if they love it, they can do it in one year or two years. So but take more time. Take it, more takes, time. it takes a little bit of more of time course, and effort. Yes. But I mean, you've been doing pole dancing and also teaching it to people mm -hmm. in Indonesia. How do you see the demand so far? Is it uh, increasing in the past, you know, years? In the past uh, few years, I think the pole dancing are getting up so much. Mm. They are growing so much. Mm -hmm. The wow. community getting so big. Yeah, and uh, like like you tried before, <laughs> yes, I, yeah, yeah. So so I mean, for my student, I start not my student open a new studios, and I and I also uh, help many more students to open new more studio. Oh, so so wow. they uh, they they have so much studio right now, mm -hmm. new new pole studio. So mm -hmm. if every studio have like maybe fifty students, you oh. know, if wow. you combine like maybe ten studio have fifty students, wow. they might be about like five hundred students. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so this is a lot of uh, students right now for pole dancing in Indonesia. Both it's male and growing female. Up. Male is hardly we have. So you know, female, female mostly. A lot of because, female. Uh, you know, in, in my opinion, uh, during my training, I saw that um, doing pole dancing, it requires uh, flexibility. Yes. Mm -hmm. And also uh, it strength. requires, yes. But, you know, strength. I came from a calisthenic background. Yes. So that's why for me, I was intrigued to try pole dance. More easier, right? Uh, it's more easier for me because I use, uh, I, I'm still doing calisthenics. Mm -hmm. So uh, for, for, for guys who used to, you know, lift weight and doing soccer, yeah. uh, doing volleyball, something like that, it is much more it's easier. difficult for them. Difficult, difficult. Harder, difficult. because they have oh. a lot of... Uh, they're difficult because they have a lot of muscles. Yes. Sometimes the muscles make you not flexible, so it makes you uh, hard to move. Okay. Yes. So shorten the, the muscle is shortened, so mm. it's not easy. So like people who do, for example, yoga, is it a good 
then a next step for them uh, or something else? It's perhaps? a good step, but they're different technique. It's a different, different step. So, so, so a lot of yoga, yoga teacher come yeah. over to me and they said, oh, I do yoga, I'm strong enough, but when they try pull, it's different technique uh -huh. and it's something different. So sometimes they cannot do it and they, they give up. Yeah. Wow, what a challenge. It's, yeah. it's oh just getting more God. interesting. Yes. Yes. It's getting more interesting. And we're still going to talk with Junko Agus uh, about pole dancing, what are the challenges and so on. And maybe you want to try as well. Uh, so don't go anywhere. After the break, we'll continue discussing about pole dancing. This is very, very challenging and hard. Oh my God. Don't go anywhere.